Hi, I'm Jo Pratt and I'm here with Panasonic to show you my little twist on a fish pie and I'm going to make a salmon and prawn crumble using the Panasonic combination microwave oven. So for the salmon and prawn crumble I'm going to start off by making a white sauce base but flavouring it with some onions and bay leaf and in here I have already cooked some finely chopped onion and a bay leaf in some butter. Now I did this in the microwave, you could do it on the hob and just sauté it as normal. I'm going to make all this sauce in the microwave section on my combi oven which is a really simple way of doing it. So I've put some flour in there and just whisk that in while pouring in some white wine, in with some milk. So using the whisk just make sure that you get rid of any lumps that were in that flour and then just cover this with cling film and it wants to go back into your microwave for four minutes but stirring halfway through just to make sure you get even cooking. Now I've got some fresh salmon and I've cooked this in the combi oven and I did it on the fish centre programme which is brilliant because it will work out the correct cooking time for me so I don't need to worry about overcooking the fish. I'm also using some prawns, these are already cooked ones but you could use raw and again cook them in your microwave. Um, I've got some boiled eggs as well that have just been roughly chopped and I'm going to put in some chopped dill. It's a really nice flavour with fresh fish, chopped dill is. You could swap this for parsley or chopped chives if you wanted to. And then this is all ready to add to our sauce which... I guess it's going to be ready. Let's go and get it. There we go. Perfect. So, off with the cling film. The bay leaves out. And then let's go in with the dill. I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. In with the prawns. The egg. And then Let's get the fish and I'm just going to flake this in and then just gently mix this together. I don't want to mix it too much because I don't want that fish to break down. So just give it a little stir. Just pop that in and it goes. A nice oven proof dish. You scatter over some capers. And let's pop that there and then I can make the crumble top. Now for the topping I'm doing something a little bit different, an alternative to mashed potato or a pastry topping and I'm going to make a crumble top. And for this I've just got some chia butter bread, pop this, just break it up into pieces into your food processor and then just give those a little whiz before adding some of the other ingredients. That's just broken them down a little bit and then into there we're also going to put some parmesan cheese. So sprinkle that in, just pre-grated. Parsley, I'm going to get this straight from the pot. Let's take it from the back and then those other little bits will grow again, ready for use another day. And some olive oil, just using some extra virgin, about two tablespoons, just poured around the outside of the food processor. So then just blitz it up. Scatter this over the top. I'm cooking this in the combi oven on a turbo boost, which means it's going to be ready in no time at all, about 12 minutes, which is perfect timing to pop this in your oven, and then you can sit down and have your starter, and then it's ready for when you need it. So here we are, our salmon and prawn crumble. It's cooked through, it's bubbling underneath top. It's lovely and crunchy and golden and it's ready to serve up and this is just a really nice straightforward simple recipe to make but it's full of amazing flavour. So there we have a very tasty and lovely and simple salmon and prawn crumble.